In this presentation, we have a young man who dislodged a veneer on tooth number 24, and what we can see here is that the tissue has just grown back up over the margin. Using the eyelays, we can use just topical anesthetic. It's a strong topical anesthetic. Leave it on for about a minute and suction it. And now using the gingivectomy setting, notice that the tip has been initiated, but it's been initiated not only on the tip, but also on the sides in order to get uh, some beveling effect of, of the tip. So not only can we use this to incise, but we can also use this in kind of a beveling motion. And notice too that if possible, if you can move the lip out of the way, it works a lot nicer if you can uh, keep the uh, contour or the angle of the tip uh, more normal rather than creating a reverse architecture inside the tissue. So try to keep it at either 90 degrees or maybe something like 120 degrees in order to uh, re remove tissue. And then here after the tissue's been removed, um, actually troughing in here so that we're able to get a nice impression. And then we're going to end up re-cementing the patient's dislodged veneer uh, temporarily until we get the uh, new prosthetic back from the lab. So here we can see that the tissue's actually, uh, we're getting a very nice uh, hemostasis here as well. Also notice too, while we're working, I take the tip out of the tissue quite often. And the reason for that is to allow the tip to uh, kind of reheat. Every time you put the, tish, the tip back into the tissue, it tends to quench and cool down the tip. So notice how many times that we're taking the tip out of the tissue, and each time we do, the tip ends up uh, re-energizing and um, having the appropriate amount of laser energy uh, to be delivered back into the tissue. And in case you're wondering why there's some bleeding here, it's because after the patient dislodged his veneer, the tissue became quite inflamed, but that's one of the benefits of being able to use a, a diode laser rather than cord. Here's our completed gingivectomy and troughing, ready for an impression. And here we have his uh, old veneer temporarily placed back in, uh, in position. Notice the health of the tissue immediately post-surgery. There's no bleeding and there's no charring, so we know that this case is going to heal very nicely.